Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shayna with Dancing Daisy Designs and I upcycle, repurpose, and breathe fresh life into old, outdated, and unwanted furniture and decor pieces, as well as always keeping my eye open for fun, unique vintage finds. Today, I have a haul video for you. I was out at Goodwill yesterday where I purchased a cart full of fun items, as well as a quick stop at an antique mall where I, where I bought a few fun things. And so I'm gonna share with you today all of the cool stuff I got and ideas I have on what I might do to fix it up and make it new and fun for your home again. So stay tuned to see my fun stuff. off I'm gonna start with the bigger items that I got this is a little side table that I purchased for $3.99 and what I look for when I'm purchasing tables or any furniture really is I want to make sure that it's in good shape and it's sturdy not wonky and wiggly and in need of a lot of repairs because that takes time and it's really no fun so what I like is something that's sturdy and I can get to work on right away this however does need to be sanded. It's I can feel there's a, there's a little bit of water damage on the top where the wood has raised just a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just give it a sanding on the top and then a pretty new paint job and somebody will want it in their home for sure. Next, I got this metal stool. And this one was $8. So I know this this is a newer item that you can buy, you know, at Hobby Lobby or I'm sure there's several other stores that sell them as well. But I don't know, I see them in a lot of people's houses and I think it's a pretty desirable item. So my thoughts are, it's kind of nice in the black that it is. It's not scratched up or messed up very much. So I don't know, I might clean it up and if it looks good, I might go ahead and just sell it as it is. And if it doesn't sell right away, I'll give it a fun new paint color, and I'm sure somebody would love to have that in their home right away. All right, let's see what else I got. So, first off, I got this neat metal Paris sign. And this one is not something I would normally pick up, but it's really sturdy, really sturdy metal. It's not the kind you can like bend and, you know, is all over the place. And it's even got the little hooks to hang it on the wall in the back, which I thought was pretty neat, a little higher end. Um, this one, this one was $4. So that's the first thing. Next, let's see. I got these two little silver cups and not sure what they're made out of. Um, maybe, um, you know, the sterling silver plated or something like that. But anyway, I thought these were really cute. I like to do a lot of boho themed stuff. And so I thought these would look really cute in my, in my space with, uh, with the boho type of stuff, just as little decor pieces. So, um, I'll be selling these as a set and I paid a dollar each for these. So that was a pretty good deal. Next, this isn't normally something I would pick up either, but I just thought it was cute. It's a little, I guess, maybe like a sake um, pitcher, you know, where you put the sake in and then you pour it into the little cups. Not really sure. Um, I paid 99 cents for it, so, you know, not that big of a deal. Something I could sell for a little bit cheaper. Sometimes people just want to pick up a cute thing and they don't want to spend a lot of money. So that's kind of the idea I had with this. I peeled the sticker back when I got home and it says World Market on it. You know, um, a lot of people like World Market stuff, you know, even though it's not like super unique or anything, but I just thought this one was really cute. I don't know if you can see with the light, but it's got like little green, um, little green detail, which I just think is really cute. So that's something neat for sure. Next. I got this kind of, I don't know if you'd call it like a little decanter, 
not really sure. It really had like that boho kind of Moroccan look to it with this metal on it. And then it's got that kind of uh, mercury glass kind of look to it um, that I kind of liked. And I thought, you know, maybe put some floral in it or, um, you know, some wispy fall foliage. And I think it would be really, really cute. Um, for like a bo somebody's boho decor. I paid two dollars for this so again not very much and um, I'm sure I can make it look super cute. Next I really don't know what this is. It's just a wooden vase I guess. Um, it does have a little hole in it so I'm not sure if it would be good to put water in this but what I really liked about it is it's made from one piece of wood. Yeah. And it's got, like, you can feel the wood grain on it. And so it just seems kind of neat and unique. And I think it would be really cute um, in decor for, you could go farmhouse with this, or you could even stick it in like a boho kind of uh, vignette. So really cute. This one was $3. I paid a little bit more for this just because I thought it was really unique and I like unique. Let's see, next, tarnished silver. I just love tarnished silver. I think that it's so fun to decorate with tarnished silver. And um, so whenever I find cute ones with flowers, you know, this is perfect to put your keys in and um, your sunglasses and, and whatnot. So I thought this was really cute and it was only $1.50. So awesome deal. Next, I got this cute plate. This is a vintage plate and it says on the back, let's see, Boost Made in England Floradora. So not sure you can see that but anyway it is it is a vintage piece made in England um, it does have some wear where that the gold is around the corner but what I liked about it is I really like the floral pattern on it I think it's really pretty and then you know I like that the gold is kind of faded away it gives it that vintage um, feel to it and then it's got some crazing in it too which is really really fun so something fun to decorate with or you could even use this you know, to put food on, you know, <laughs> that's what it's meant for, right? Okay, next, let's see. I just got, it's a simple vintage picture frame. It's, uh, you know, it's got that kind of bronzy kind of look to it with the cute little corners, you know, something that grandma always had on the shelf when, you know, when you're growing up. And um, I just thought it'd be cute. What I'll probably do with this one is I'll probably find like a really cool picture to put in it, like maybe like a like spring, like a floral or something, and I'll probably sell it um, like that. I paid three dollars for this, and with the picture in it, I think I'll be able to get a decent price for that. Okay, let's see what else do we have? Trivets. <laughs> I think somebody was getting rid of their collection of trivets. There were quite a few there. I bought four of them and I just think they're so cute. So this one, this one is a bunny, cute little bunny. And um, I think these are fun when you're decorating too. Um, right now I'm actually uh, redoing like above my cabinets in the kitchen. And this is something that you could kind of stick up there like this, you know, and put some stuff around it. And just like that cute little hint of something metal up there, you know, to throw off the greenery or whatever else you decorate with. So this one was really cute. And he was $2.50. So cute little bunny. Um, I also got, got this one, which cute. I think this would be so cute, like a farmhouse kind of decor. You could even hang it on the wall. I mean, that's probably what somebody did with their collection because there were so many of them. So yeah, so there's that one. This one I think is pretty unique. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. It's like a little eagle. I'm not sure if it's kind of like a, um, something from Mexico or 
I don't know, it's cute. Really cute. Um, let's see. Each of these I paid $2.50 for, by the way. So they were all the same price. And then this one is just cute. I can see this one totally hanging on the wall. That is exactly what I would do with this. You know, you could even like put the wreath around it and stuff and maybe put something else here. Would be really cute. So that's something that, that I thought was super cute. So those are my little trivets that I got. Um, got quite a few candle holders. I really like candle holders because I think they're really fun to, um, to use to, to decorate with. So these ones, I think they have the boho feel to them. I like the metal. I like the dark metal. These aren't black. They've got that brownish color to them. But when I say them, I'm referring to both of them because there are two. And uh, one's a little bit bigger than the other. So that's always fun when you can find a pair. These ones, I will just clean them up and sell them as is. And let's see, I paid $2 for each. So $4 for the pair. Okay, let's see. While we're looking at candle holders, these are just really simple, basic, you see them all the time, candle holders. There's a set, a large one and a smaller one. And these ones I paid only a dollar each, so that's why I got these. Um, if these were any more than that, I certainly wouldn't have picked them up. Um, but I just think these these are cute, inexpensive things that you can you know use to decorate. And um, they bring in that little bit of metal. You could stick a candle on it. You could put something else on top of it. You know, just really versatile as far as I'm concerned. So there's those. Um, let's see. I also got these cute, chunky candle holders. My favorite, I love chunky candle holders. These are my favorite to buy because I know I can paint them up, usually white over the black and then distress it back and it's 100% perfect for a farmhouse. So in this case, I was able to get a set, so a larger one and a smaller one, which is wonderful. And um, these ones were $3 each, and because they were cute and chunky, I did pay a little bit more for them. I do plan on painting them, and so I will sell them for a little bit more than I would if, if I didn't have to paint them. So, that's those. And let's see, what else? Oh, this cute little basket. It says, wash clothes, five cents. I know that it's not authentic vintage, it's just made to look that way, but I really think somebody would love to use this as decor in their place. Um, let's see, I paid ah, there it is, $4 for this, which is, you know, it depends on the item. I wouldn't pay $4 for just anything. This one I just really thought was super cute. Um, I like the curve here, really nice, and then this handle just made it for me. I really, really, really like this handle. So this one, I'll probably just wash it up and I might actually give it just a little extra distressing just to make it look a little older. But um, yeah, this one's a quick flip. Let's see, next, this little iron skillet. It's just a little skinny guy. And um, my thoughts for this was you could just hang it on the wall and I might even do like just like a little small stencil in it. I think that would be really cute. So I'll do a stencil on it. If it doesn't look good, I'll just wash it off and sell it as a little black skillet. But I really think somebody would like this. It was $1.50, so you know, why not? Next, I got these cute little mirrors. Um, as you can see, they're quite small, which you don't see those as often as you do, you know, just like the regular um, five by six, eight by 10 mirrors. So um, these ones, it's actually a set of four you know, square ones that go with it. And not sure if these were all bought as a set. They look very similar, so I would guess they were. Um, these ones I paid $1.50 each for. So um, really cute. I don't know, I was thinking that I would just leave them as they are, but I noticed, after I got home of course, that's how it always goes, that there's just like, it's not, like you can't even feel it, 
but there's a little crack in the mirror in this one. So definitely the round one, this one, I will be keeping and I'll probably use it in my home um, because I don't think anybody's going to want to buy it with a little crack in it. So I'll use that for my home and I might sell these three as a set, you know, and um, I'm thinking I probably will paint them. I'll probably do them like a neat boho color because these, these just scream boho to me. And so I'll do like something colorful and um, distress it back. And these will be really cute. Okay. Next, I got this little brass bucket. <laughs> and I really thought, like I liked the size of it and the shape and it has little lions on it I mean how cute is that cute little lions um, this one I, I paid a little bit more for this was four dollars but what I plan on doing is I'm just gonna put some um, some greenery maybe a couple flowers in here and I'll sell it like that and it just with the lions I just love it so I'm sure somebody else will too <laughs> Next, I got some baskets. And I think baskets are just really fun to um, to decorate with. You know, like I was saying, I'm doing above my cabinets right now. And, you know, just having a little basket up there with like a jar in it or something, just really, it just brings a little something, you know. You just want a little something up there to, to keep it from being boring. So, this is a little black basket that I bought. You know, it's just cute, nothing special. And this one I paid three dollars for. Yeah, there's that one. And then these ones. Oh, sorry about that. That was probably really loud. <laughs> these ones were a set. So there's three of these. And they're just they're shaped like this. And um, they have a little handle. And the bottom's a different pattern. And there's three of them, and they sit inside of each other, so they're little nesting baskets. And um, these ones are, I think they're ugly. <laughs> so I will definitely be giving these a paint job. So I'll paint them a fun color. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint them all the same color, or if I might paint one, you know, each one a different cute color that coordinates and do it that way. So maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so depends on what colors I have, really. So these ones, I don't see the price tag on them. Um, I think I paid $5 for all three of these. So, you know, that's not bad. $5 isn't bad at all. Okay. Next, let's get to some fun stuff. So I found this big jar. These are so cool. People love these for a farmhouse and, you know, you can just, you could put some fun stuff inside, um, you know, some moss or, you know, rocks. There's so many different things you could do with these. Or um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to paint it and like with a chalk paint and then I'm going to distress it back where you'll see all these details will come through and um, and then, you know, but it'll still have the color. And then I'll probably put like something coming out of it, like some kind of foliage or something, some greenery, um, and sell it, sell it that way. Next, I got oh, this fun cookie jar, a very well used cookie jar. Um, not sure if you can see it on the camera, but the word cookies is almost gone. It's just been used so much on this side. I don't even know what was on this side because it's 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 gone. You can't even really tell. So anyway, it has this cute little wooden lid. So I am going to paint it and because it looks like on the inside, you know, it hasn't had, and I guess that's on the outside. I'll have to give it a wash and see. But it doesn't look like it's had like the easiest life. So this one's gonna get painted. The the lid will get painted too. And um, I'll probably just do a stencil on it or something really cute and then um, sell it like that. Okay, next, this cute pottery piece. I 
don't buy pottery because I think it's like super valuable or anything. I'm sure some of it is, but I think that this is just a cute color, a neat size. I could see flowers in it and um, somebody using it for a farmhouse decor and um, it's nice and heavy. It's handmade by somebody who signed the bottom. I can't read what it says. It's pretty scribbly, but this is really cute. Um, I might put some flowers in it. I might just sell it like this. It's super cute. Um, paid five dollars for it, so a little more than than I pay for things of this nature. But like I said, this is handmade pottery, and I think people pay a little bit more for that. Okay, this one is just such a good find. I don't think I've seen one of these since my grandma's house for real. And this is a vintage. Uh, measuring cup and this one measures eight cups it's really big and these I think farmhouse you know and so I'm pretty sure that um, just cleaning this up I mean it's been well used you can tell um, somebody's just gonna love this in their farmhouse decor so I bought this I'm just gonna clean it up and sell it as is and this one I paid four dollars for which I think was a good deal so that's what's gonna happen with that one um, running out of space here put it down here okay next I got this cool clock and I look at clocks um, I don't always buy them they just really have to speak to me this one I thought was really cute it looks pretty neat and vintage to me it looks like something you would see um, in Germany or something so I really like that it's uh, it's actually got a little hook on it so you can hang it on the wall um, me personally, I think that'd be a little bulky to hang on the wall, but I mean, everybody to their own, right? And let's see, it does open up and that's where you access taking the battery out and putting a new one in for the clock. And then there's quite a bit of space inside here. So, I mean, you could, you could hide something in there, you know, or stash something in there you didn't want people to see. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought it was really cute. Um, this one, I think I will give it a little bit of a boho makeover with some fun bright colors, maybe like some blues, maybe a little yellow in there. And I'll heavily distress it back where you see a lot of the wood coming through. And um, I'll leave the metal pieces on the edges. I'll distress those back really almost completely because I think that's really unique. I'm not sure if you can you can see the metal parts. It's really cool. Okay, so that's the clock. And this piece, I love this one. I almost want to keep it for myself. <laughs> it's got the little elephants on it. I mean, how cute is that? And these cute little pools. The drawers come out. I mean, so cute. And what it is is it's kind of where you you put your mail, you know, your bills to pay and things like that. It's kind of what would go in there. Like, um, I mean, you could. There's lots of things you could put in there, but that I think that's the purpose of it. And it's just so cute. You know, standard size for that type of thing. But I just love this. I'm gonna just clean this up and sell it like it is because I think it's beautiful just how it is. So. That's everything I bought at Goodwill, but I have a little bonus for you. I actually went over to an antique mall for just a quick stop and I picked up just a few items. So I thought I would just throw those in with this haul video and share those with you too. So let's see, I got, first of all, this cute tray, cute vintage tray. I'm thinking it's 1950s. It's in excellent condition. It does have some scratching around the edges, but I mean, that's pretty expected. And it doesn't bother me at all. I bought this for my home. Um, I'm gonna use it up above my cabinets in decorating. And I just think it's super cute. I love the color. And that's really the reason I bought it was the color. I wanna have some pops of color up there. So this one, um, let's see, I have a little paper here. It tells me how much I paid for these ones. This one was $4, so not bad for an antique. Okay, 
next got a little just a cute little hanky um, and this one can be used in decor or I mean there's so many cute little things you can do with these so I loved the little little daisies on it and so that's what I bought it for is 50 cents and then this one it's it, it was called a hanky but I really don't see that um, it's really thick material I think it'd be more like a like a dish like a tea towel or something um, I thought the pattern the colors are super vibrant and gorgeous and that's really the reason that I got this one it was a dollar fifty and um, I'll be putting this one in my shop just as is next this is my favorite thing I was actually browsing the internet the morning yesterday morning um, for this exact thing and I, of course I found it at the antique mall these are let's see if I can open it here pencil legs short pencil legs I actually bought a kind of like a trunk a vintage trunk and I'm going to be turning it into a coffee table and so I was looking for some little short legs for that and these are exactly what I had in mind I mean they're already roughed up looking pretty grungy which is gonna go perfect with this chest and there's four of them I got them for ten dollars which I think is a great price um, when I was looking online I was finding them for ten dollars each so I mean and these are already grunged up they're perfect so excited about that and last but not least I got this bird cage um, it's not for real birds <laughs> I mean you could put a real bird in there but I think this one is just a decor piece and I just thought this was gorgeous it was eight dollars which I thought was a very good price um, normally I don't buy a lot of things at the antique store to resell because they're already at prices you know where somebody else is reselling them this was eight dollars I thought I could do a little bit of fun stuff to it and make a profit off it so that's why I bought this um, its little door opens and what I'm gonna do I'm not 100% sure yet but I do see something with like green mossy stuff inside um, some other greenery of some kind but I will be fixing this up to look really cute and farmhousey it could go boho too it's got that look um, so it'll go perfect um, in my booth. And um, so that's the last item. Um, my bonus haul from the antique mall. And so I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you take the time to like and subscribe. Um, really trying to build up my channel and um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun projects and I really hope that y'all will come and check them out and spend some time with me. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.